pink thing looks kind of busy, lots of stuff going on. So the key here is this. So what's this? Pilar cyst or trigulomal cyst or follicular cyst of the isthmus catagen type. There can never be one name, never. It, how, oh yeah, so how do we know that? We've got what looks like a uh, stratified squamous, right? It looks like kind of like the epidermis, but there's no granular layer and it transitions immediately into a dense sheet of packed, dense pink uh, uh, keratin, okay? Unlike the flaky keratin and the nice granular layer you get in the follicular and fundibular cysts or EICs, in pilar cysts or trichelemal cysts, you don't usually have much granular layer and you get the dense pink stuff in the middle, okay? So once you've identified that, then let's look over here and whoa, what's going on? We got all sorts of squamoid looking islands, looks almost like a squamous carcinoma. If you see something that looks kind of like a squamous carcinoma and then find areas that look like pilar cysts, you're probably dealing with a what? Proliferating pilar tumor, proliferating tricky lemel tumor. And even though this looks invasive, usually on a complete excision, you'll see all this busy stuff is in the midst of the cystic space. It's not actually invading out into the soft tissue, but again, on a fragment of partial biopsy, because these clinically look like cysts, so they often get just kind of chunked out and then you, you can't see the edge. So I do think it's probably good to excise these. I believe Ackerman, at least at one point, thought that these should all be regarded as carcinomas, but I've seen ones that are really big and in young people and no connection to the epidermis, and to me, it doesn't make sense for them to be squames in the traditional sense. So I think they're benign and indolent, but probably good to have them excise the whole thing. Um, in any case, though, the, the, all the busy stuff that was usually in the middle of the cystic areas. But finding those areas like this with that nice triculemal pattern of keratinization is really the key. Proliferating trichelemal tumor, proliferating pilar tumor, whichever name you like.